Welcome to the first episode of the fifth season of Ignition. And we figured to celebrate our paper anniversary, let's start off with something special. Ta-da! Sometimes all you need to know about a car is in the name. And think about it, Lamborghini, obviously. Aventador means it's the big mother with the V12 and the billionaire doors. Super Veloce, translated from Italian, literally means super fast. And without butchering the Italian language, I can tell you that LP750-4 means right behind your head is 741 screaming horsepower going to all four wheels. The question becomes, is there any way this thing can drive as good as it looks? There's only one way to find out. Before we get moving, let's talk about the difference between the regular Aventador and the Super Veloce. In other words, why does this car cost $100,000 more? The quick and dirty answer is the classic combination of more power and less weight. They added 50 horsepower and they dropped 110 pounds. Some of the ways they achieved that is they got rid of all the active aero stuff. In other words, instead of the wing that pops up, they have a fixed carbon fiber wing. And instead of the air intakes that flap up, they're just fixed carbon fiber pieces. Not only does it save weight, but I think it looks a lot better. But they went to some extreme measures too. Instead of carpeting, the floor mat in this thing is just a giant sheet of aluminum covered in grip tape, just like a skateboard, which happens to be my favorite part of the car. But the most important part of the SV are two things, magnetic shocks and dynamic steering. And believe you me, they make a huge difference. Like many of you, I did not win the Powerball. However, I am lucky enough that somebody handed me the key to a $500,000 Lamborghini. I have a tunnel in downtown Los Angeles and two police officers who've shut it down at either end and 15 gallons of gas sitting in a couple cans over there. I can play in this tunnel with this car all night. <laughs> Pull the right paddle to engage first gear. Get a little thing here. In Italian, it says something about launch control is now available. You take your left foot, you bury the brake pedal with it, take your right foot, you floor it, and then you let go, and you hold on! Jesus! <laughs> it's just an animal! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, bury the brake pedal. Yeah, that's done. Left foot, right foot. steering 
which sounds suspiciously to me like Audi dynamic steering, and it's probably the same technology. But unlike any Audi I've ever driven, it works here. It works wonderfully, and basically what it does is, depending on what mode you're in, how fast you're going, temperature, other factors, it varies the rate of the rack, and it works great. You'll notice my hands are never getting crossed over, even in sharp corners. So very little steering input equals a lot of steer, and that just makes the car handle that much better. Also incredible are the shocks. They're magna rheological dampers, magnetic shocks, just like the 488, just like the Audi R8 V10 Plus, just like the Huracan, just like a Camaro. Uh, a lot of companies that do a lot of development work on the Nürburgring are switching to them, because what they're really good at is on a bumpy road like say Big Willow they eat that stuff up you know my favorite car if you really put a gun to my head is the Lamborghini Countach I just, when I first saw that thing when I was 10 years old until now it still blows me away no big V12 Lamborghini has ever delivered on performance not the Mira not the Countach not the Diablo not the Mercy Lago maybe the SV was getting there but it was still it was okay not the Aventador, but the Super Veloce LP754. This makes all my Countach dreams come true. And I asked Maruzio Regioni on the launch, I said, what's the biggest difference, the most important factor differentiating the regular Aventador from the Super Veloce? And he told me the shocks. So that makes the biggest difference, and I gotta agree with them, man. This thing, this does not drive like an Aventador. This is, this drives like a giant WRX, and I say that as a two-time WRX owner, it's incredible. You don't need stability control. It's so naturally, mechanically stable. It's awesome, just awesome. as the Super Veloce is. And it is brutal. We know it's a great handling car. In fact, the production car lap record at the Nürburgring is currently held by the Porsche 918 Spyder. It did about a six minute, 57 second. This thing did a six minute, 59 second. And remember the Porsche's got batteries, it's got a thousand horsepower. This is all engine. A little birdie told me Actually, it's quite a big Italian bird. Anyways, he told me that this did a 659 after only two laps and that Volkswagen Corporate said no more because they didn't want to embarrass the million dollar Porsche. He thinks the SV here could beat the 918 at the Nürburgring. I think in the hands of the right driver, the Aventador Super Veloce could beat the 918 here at Big Willow. This is gonna blow up Instagram and YouTube, but Randy, only if you get in the car and drive. You don't have to ask me twice.
How'd she do? Man, that's a lot of car, Johnny. It's a lot of car. 740 horsepower, and I love every single Italian one of them. Nice. But I got some bad news for, for my theory, and facts are a tricky thing. You did a one minute 25.42. Mm -hmm. Very quick, not the fastest, actually kind of slower than the Uricon, and way slower than the, about two seconds slower than the 918. Uh. But it's on courses, and right now, the Pirelli courses are the most aggressive tires they make in this size. And next year, next model year, they're gonna have the Trofeo Rs. Oh. How much of a difference do you think those tires would make? It could be a couple seconds. So it could be quicker than the 918. Have to come back and find out. Yeah, I look forward to that. One of my favorite lines from Moby Dick is, a whaler's wonder wanes. Basically, the first time you harpoon a sperm whale, it's an awesome, awe-inspiring occasion. But the tenth time, a job is just a messy job. The same is true of supercars. Yes, they're fast, loud, and comically impractical, but after 10 of them, what time's dinner? Not so with the Super Veloce. From starting mini riots at gas stations, to the absurd violence of thrust mode, to eating 10 gallons of premium fuel every 20 miles, to murdering its poor Pirellis on a racetrack, every single thing the SV does inspires deep pools of awe. As a brand, Lamborghini unwittingly wrote a bunch of large checks a generation ago. Thousands of young gearheads hung posters of the wild-looking Countach on their bedroom walls, leaving legions of young kids with little more than the opportunity to stare and dream. These kids are now grown, and some of them have the means to purchase the Countach's spiritual successor. Guess what? This whaler's wonder wanes no more. <laughs>